What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before I go any further, I want to make sure you guys click the subscribe button, ding the bell, so you have notifications on, so you know when these videos get posted. It's pretty important that you know when these get posted, so they get viewed, and I can get more content out to you. But today, we have another review, and it's another one sponsored by Throw More Disc Golf Store over in Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, make sure you go check them out. They got all the cool stuff in the shop, all kinds of discs, baskets for you to put on, bags. Uh, they got a radar gun there. You can see how fast you throw. So, I mean, they got a bunch of stuff going on there. They even got coffee. It's awesome, birdie fuel coffee. But uh, today we are uh, reviewing the Yukun Discs uh, Foo. The Foo. Now, I've seen the shoe and a couple other discs this one actually has fairway numbers or i mean fairway numbers has uh, flight numbers on it so i can tell you these are 7502 and insanely domey so we will see how this uh flies i don't know if phoenix is maybe the plastic but that's what that says right there so plastic feels pretty good uh fairly comfortable rim um uh, the only thing that's like just crazy sticks out to me is how domey it is like super heartbeat so make sure you check out throw more though these discs will be that i review from them will be for sale over at their store so if you want to go get one of the discs from the video go over there and try to get it before it's gone but let's get into this review all right i'm here at hole one at warriors path state park I'm gonna give this uh, Foo from Yukon Discs a throw. I'm gonna pop it on hyzer and see how it flies. The basket's in the short position, so I'm not necessarily aiming for the short. I'm just kinda hitting it on hyzer and trying to get it to push to see how far it goes. It's a seven speed, so. Dang. Um, for a seven speed and the small amount of power I put on that, that thing carried far. I'm, I don't know if this is from the uh, like beginner uh, line discs that Yukon is putting out or not, but I could see somebody with a low arm speed being able to get good distance out of that. That was a pretty cool flight, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the foo on hole 19 right here and try to see if I can get a good little flick out there, just like a touch flick to the basket, because it's not a far shot. Oh, get in. Oh, hold. Holy cow. That foo, like, it has a really good flight to it. That was super low power, and uh, that came close to hitting the basket. All right, I'm gonna take this foo and try to give it a decent flick. I don't know what the wind is doing exactly right now, so I'm just gonna try to put it on hyzer and give it a good flick. I'm telling you, that Foo is a good disc. You need to check it out. That's a cool little disc. I mean, it's domey. I don't like domey discs that much for forehands, but it can take it. It's pretty nice. I like that. Seven speed and it can fly like that. It's pretty good. That one will work. All right, so my final thoughts on the Foo. This disc surprised me so much. Uh, it's a really good disc. I mean, it's super domey. If you like dome, 
This one at least is crazy domey. Um, and it handles power good and it goes far for a seven speed. This thing was flying far. So, I mean, it handled forehands well, uh, backhands. I mean, this was one that I would suggest somebody trying out just because it really surprised me. So, uh, plastic feels good. I mean, it's like on that, uh, the rim is kind of on the stiff side, but with the middle still having flex to it where it's got that dome, the plastic's super grippy. So, definitely go try out the Foo. That thing is pretty good. Thanks, Throw More, for sponsoring this video. Go buy this one, possibly. If it's still there at throw more disc off and uh tell max i sent you till next time peace <laughs>